On July 5, 2014 at 12 noon, the whole Earth experienced for the first time in modern history, a new paradigm called World Vision Day. The body of Christ from different nationalities, kindred, country, culture, starting from Australia and the most easterly part of the globe. Australia! Australia! Turn back to God! If you don't know Jesus, you're not gonna make it to heaven! In Melbourne, one day, one voice, one accord, preaching the gospel with Harvest Army, World Vision Day. The names of his head are stirred up in Melbourne! Because I brought the Holy Ghost here. And then I redecide to turn from sin. Yes. Came all the way to Belize to tell you Jesus is the way. Hey everyone, here we are on World Vision Day. We represented the country of Hong Kong. It is the day of salvation. Harden not your heart. Do not put away God. Children sharing the gospel, handing out tracts. Jesus as your savior. Know that he died on the cross for your sins. World Vision Day! The America is the most westerly, with one voice, one accord, in one place preach the gospel of Jesus Christ together the same day and hour on the highway. We're here today to tell the world that Christ is able to save from sin. Come on, come to Jesus! We get to go to heaven because of Jesus! Responding to the clarion call to the body of Jesus Christ. Have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Edges, byways, streets and corners worldwide. Jesus Christ is Jesus Many believers preaching for the first time reported a type of Pentecostal outpouring that empowered them to minister and fire baptism that they could not stop preaching and prophesying. Shane Bryce from Auckland, New Zealand, representing God with Harvest Army. Heard about them through the YouTube channel, World Vision Day. Uh, yesterday was my first day preaching for one hour. It took me 20 minutes to get started because I was nervous. But once I started, I couldn't stop. Wash me in your precious blood. Wash me in your precious blood. Deliver me from sin. Deliver me from sin. It's gonna be over. You're gonna run to the church. You're gonna run to the church. Jesus is coming. You're not John the This phenomenon triggered the worldwide outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the body of Christ that has been termed by many, Joel 2.28 fulfillment in motion. This outpouring led to a firestorm in the secular media headlines including Washington Post, New York Daily News, CBS Sports, TMZ Sports and NBC Sports with the participation of popular NBA star player, coach, commentator Pastor Mark Jackson with his church true love worship center mark jackson spent the fourth of july weekend spreading the lord's word the ex nba golden state warriors coach was preaching from a street corner in california on saturday proselytizing on world vision day jackson stated saturday was world vision day a call for every believer to hit the streets and preach for one hour my church fame and i was blessed to take part Says, look at me and be saved. Read it again. For I am God, and there's no one. Believers of Jesus Christ arrived in Asia, in Tokyo, Japan, for World Vision Day. Kanishiwa, yes me, so please, yes me. I don't Began to distribute pamphlets about Jesus, translated into Japanese language, as the preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. They even took the subways and ministered the gospel there. Come on, Lord, visit this place in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for the harvest of souls in this place in Jesus' yes, mighty name. God, we thank you. They were then noticed by one of Japan's media outlets who interviewed them for a documentary. As these were of those who prophesied of the great tsunami of 2011. You're going to hell without Christ. You don't know where you're going. You don't know what your purpose is. This is 
the end time. Please, people, if you do not know Christ as your Savior, please accept Christ right now while you still have time. He died that we might have life and have it more abundantly. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. When a girl return, repent, repent, repent and come to Jesus. He said, fear not. He said, this is only the beginning. For the grace of God, for the vision there, for the souls into the Lord's feet. The people accepted Lord Jesus as their personal savior. Did it all day at City Hall's corner from 12 noon to about 4 p.m. We are at a spiritual war. Hallelujah. This is the end times. Jesus is coming soon. We need to be, be ready for that. John 3, 16, por me tanto, amo Dios al mundo, que Dios su hijo pujentes. The Bible also says that Jesus came with a gift. Protect him, Lord, as he goes. Yes, yes. Be brave. See that song right there? She said she was talking. And they don't know how they're gonna make it when they come out. Inspiration and deliverance. Do you know Jesus? Jesus is coming back again. Where will you spend your long eternity? So Jesus, yes. We are here to proclaim our Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. Only Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus Christ loves you. Hey. Here's a tell everyone about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ to you, all of you, to you, all of you. Ah, okay. Ah, yes. All saints from every kingdom. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. He's alive. He's alive. Anybody know how to get to heaven? No, no, because it doesn't exist. Oh, heaven's more real than you. Is it? Do you know that God knows how many hairs you have on your head? Hey, there's proof of me existing and being real. God gave you, you that mustache. And when you shave that little fur on your face, <laughs> little fur, still, another fur will grow back. Still, it might take you six months, but it'll come back. Me. The Pope said that Muslims and Christians are brothers and sisters. Yes, of course. Well, they're not. It's a lie. They're not going to save the Muslims and the Hindus. The only way to heaven is Jesus Christ. So you are doing the physical job, but you don't want to do a spiritual job in your heart of cleaning your heart of the Lord Jesus. Hey, this is for World Vision Day. Repent. Jesus is the only hope. Believe the gospel. He's the only Repent. life. I'm going to sound the alarm. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. This is Gloria Harlow. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. Repent is coming to Hawaii. Repent of your sins. From heaven to die on the cross for us, so that we may have a second chance to be with Him. The gift of God is eternal life to Christ Jesus. No one man thing, no it's not a two man thing, it's not a three man thing, but it's so. But he gave his all we got, son, that goes to everyone. Diyos na hindi tayo manatili sa kahirapan, hindi manatili sa masasamang bisyo. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Today we are excited and it's our pleasure to join millions of people all over the world. We are invading our city. Various gospel tracts. Uh, we are wanting to promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus is here! Jesus is here! Today! Today! To help you! To help you! Yeah.
É todo mundo que é filho de Deus? Só é filho de Deus aqueles que adoram a palavra de Deus. Então vem cá, fala pra mim aqui, ó. O bêbado não é filho de Deus? Fala pra mim, olha pra mim, meu olha. This day was so great and awesome sharing the gospel on the streets. In our country it is very complicated, but I was victorious even with so many police around me. God reigns. Young people, young women, young men, it's not about enjoying life today, but it's where will you spend eternity. Our people all over the world, at this moment, in this one hour, one voice, one accord, Preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have come to tell people that he came to set you free from sin and that he is the only way to heaven. All you have to do is accept Jesus. It was so great here today. We went to a nearby trading center where we preached the word of God according to the vision that you received from the Lord. But with World Vision Day, it was like the Lord Jesus Christ was taking us to places where people need the gospel most. We thank God that several people gave their lives to the Lord. There were also several who didn't want to broadcast their repentance, confessing and receiving him while they were in their places of business. Forgive me of my sins. I choose hell. Well, because I like it. <laughs> it's a good company here. There. Okay. And then I pray mercy on you. I pray that God will set you free and change your heart. <laughs> If you accept me, I will forgive you. I will teach you holiness. I will teach you righteousness. The Bible says the anointing you receive abides in you. Make me a Christian from today, forever. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. World Vision Day to preach the gospel. People told me I couldn't wear a Jesus shirt in China. People told me I couldn't carry a cross in China. But God is the one in control. Buddha dead. Jesus alive. When you hear the gospel coming to you, nobody knows when they are going to die. No. Turn your life to God. Sina mana, sina boy, I come to say to you, come see a mana. World Vision Day Report, Malawi, with Pastor William Kelly. The World Vision Day is a great tool for evangelism. 
we went out to preach in the market square, and the outcome was very wonderful. Many people heard about Jesus. We saw people coming to Jesus for salvation and healing with various needs to be prayed for. And because of that, it was to save us from our sins. For we have all sinned. I pray. Is your name Kevin? Do you know somebody yes. named Your name is Kevin? Yes, that was a word of knowledge. Wow. Now, how did I know that? God. That's the Holy Spirit. I'm serious. The Holy Spirit said, Say, Kevin. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus, Kevin. I Jesus Christ died upon the cross to save mankind from sin. Lastly, why? This verse is very important because we are given a choice to perish or to have everlasting life. Many find the way that goeth there, but narrow is the way that leads to life everlasting. Uh, yes, ma'am, me and uh, my name is Jimmy Nelson, and me and my pastor, David Payne, and my wife, Wendy Honeycutt, we all three went out to uh, the a big giant shopping center, and we handed out tracts for the Lord today on World Vision Day. We heard about it on the internet, on the YouTube, and I decided to get involved today, and we went out and talked to a bunch of the people today about the Lord, and handed out probably... A couple hundred tracks at least. Blessing everyone, we are live in Johannesburg, South Africa. We are in the midst of winter. It is very cold here, so we are just getting into the mall right now to begin to speak to people. Today, World Vision Day from Johannesburg, South Africa. World Vision Day Report, Valencia, California, with Lisa Jean Cardinal. Happy 4th of July. I went out on World Vision Day. I did give out some literature and talk to people. I wanted to let you know that I did participate taking part in World Vision Day. Christ. 
in one accord, in one place, giving glory to God, declaring the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you saying you're a pedophile? So we got a guy accusing all pastors of being pedophiles, and yet you're telling me pedophilia is right? What else is right? My friends, I'm telling you today, there is a moral standard that we don't want to acknowledge. Uh, if you're asking me, do I believe strongly in what the Bible teaches about certain lifestyles, I believe strongly what the Bible says. By the because way, I the believe. The Bible nowhere says I believe, homosexuality so, is it. You are taking words and twisting them. Nowhere in the Bible does it say know, that homosexuality is sin. Okay? Yes, it does. That sodomy is wrong. What are you talking about? It's concerning the signs of the times. Yesterday, the Eiffel Tower was lit up like a rainbow. As a Christian, I'm here to take that rainbow back. Okay, before I give my ID, I need to know what law I have broken before I give you my ID. But I need to know what law I broke. Are you telling me I can't read the Bible? You can, you can, Why? You I can't can read yell. the Bible? I wasn't yell. yelling. I wasn't yelling. Here I go again. For God so loved the world. Jesus Christ is the way. Buddha will send you straight to hell. Buddha will send you to hell. Jesus Christ is the way to heaven. Today we are here to let you know to try Jesus. Glory to God. You have tried everything. And everything has failed. You glory to God. Today we are here to let you know to try him. Glory to God. I pray, Lord, that your spirit will be there in the name of Jesus. Bless him mightily, dear God. Top shut up. We are here today to let Negrel know that trouble is determined upon Negrel. To pay every man according as his work shall be. Seek him now. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ and live. Taiwan judgment is coming. Payday for sin is coming. Typhoon is coming. Where will you spend your long eternity? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's not about unifying the body of Christ. 
for the common cause of Jesus. The gospel must be preached. If you have been blessed by today's message and what God has been doing through this ministry, we ask that you support and help us to spread this vision throughout the world. The Bible says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. God is magnifying His word through prophecy, and many atheists, religions, and non-believers are beginning to take notice. Your generous contribution will help save and change lives. The impact of your seed may save a generation. For God's revival has truly come upon the earth. So call today and make a tangible donation with the assurance that your seed will restore lives throughout the ends of the earth. Call 718-696-2769. That's 718-696-2769. Or you can visit us at harvestarmy.org slash give. Give your seed, throw out the lifeline, and don't let another soul slip away. God said in his word that he would prove himself through prophecies and revelations, not only from the Bible, but also speaking through his servants. On harvestarmy.org, prophecies and revelations are posted almost every day and are fulfilled in due time. It is our responsibility as Christians to listen for the voice of God. The Bible says not to be ignorant of the devil's devices and plans. We encourage you to check the updates on our Revelations page every day. The website is www.harvestarmy.org. That's www.harvestarmy.org. Don't make fulfillment of prophecy be a surprise to you.